Hey guys, this is Kai here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to use your keywords plus display in QSM. This is for uh, putting your items at the top of the list which you want to display in, in Q10. So, uh, in marketing, uh, we really have to, you know, putting some some uh, some cost in it because if not, it's very hard for us to display the uh, your items in Q10. So right now, let's go to Q10, you know, and look at where is this keywords plus display that has been shown. Okay, okay, in this, you can see that at the plus item here, yeah, all these are the um products that are paid to be on the top of the list to create more exposures. Unlike uh, if your listing is just you know right, right along the, the listing with all the rest of the products. So um, this is a, a, a cheap and um, effective way to market your products uh, in Q10. Okay. So as you can see, those buyers, uh, those sellers in the top few are all you know, selling stuff every day. You know, unless you can have a kind of sales, uh, then, then you you might be able to save more on the marketing cost. If not, for new sellers, you know, having that is a must. Everything is a must. So right now, um, let's go back to QSM and go to promotion plus display. <coughs> And you can see that there's a bit for keyword and a keyword plus. Okay, so you can go to get popular keyword to look for uh, daily keywords which buyers are interested in to have more insights. So when we go inside this uh, get popular keyword, you can see that they, they will range um, the keywords accordingly to daily, weekly. As well as the popular bidding board, which means uh, keywords which uh, by by uh, sellers are spending more money to bid. You can see mostly the top. These are the tops um, keywords bid which sellers are interested in, and which means buyers are looking for the products buyers are looking for. And you can see that um, the based on uh, on, on the right hand side, ranging from 100 to 700. All these are the um, price which sellers are willing to pay for. 100 is about a dollar. So if let's say it's 200 to 700, <coughs> it's between $2 to $7. Right? So this is how, how you see it. And inside the list, you'll be able to see all different kind of keywords that, uh, you know, the sub niche of the, the main keywords, which you can also bid for. So it really depends on how what, what keywords um suit you the most. Definitely you try to get the one that has the less bit as much as possible. This is to help you know, sellers to reduce their marketing costs and to be effective. So it doesn't mean that you have you have to compete with those higher sellers on the particular keyword they are using because sometimes you know, the, the, the price is crazy, you can go up to you know twenty-five dollars a day. And if you are just starting up uh, it might not be advisable. Try to spend about you know, no no more than five dollars a day. That's that's how I feel. Or unless you want to scale up fast, you know, you might want to put in more. But I feel that uh, for a start, five dollars a day uh, is is more than enough. So the plan, you know, probably want to do products a day. Oh. So you know, but in any case, it's, it's still up to individual to decide how much budget you want to cater for. To do. To start your own marketing, okay. So, um, as you can see, uh, if let's say I go to food and baby products, uh, keyword, sorry, um, you can see that, uh, you know, that they have sort by different group of category you can look for. 
so you you will go down to a, a, a sub niche of it you know, to have more visibility on what type of keyword what particular keywords you want to use you know which is related to your products okay you can see that the average of seven days this all and yesterday are number of search that buyers are searching for okay so when you go to Q10 website you can also look for popular search as well as the hot trend you know, all the new keywords which uh, buyers are looking for okay, when they type at the search uh, column so let's say I go to food and baby which is the niche that I want to target I can see that maternity is now on a hot trend right now okay, so I'll go to QSM keyword part display and then do a search to see my competition and you must realize that this is a bidding kind of uh, it's a bidding kind of um, thing which that you might not be the winner you know, if you're not a winner your listing will not be at the first display and you can see the bidding list for this maternity the top few are you spending $25 a day you know, but there are also others who are only spending a dollar fifty cents a day to get the same uh, play, uh, keywords plus display as the rest so you, you really have depends on how, how you play, play around you know, with the keywords so right now I'm going back to my QSM going to my listing to make sure that you know I have this maternity uh, keyword okay in my uh, tag okay you have to make sure that you well, for whatever keyword you insert you have to make sure that it's inside your tag or inside your, of your uh your product description title okay in this case you know I have to change it uh include this maternity keywords in it and be sure that you know, this tag is very important uh, to put in the necessary keywords which uh, buyers are looking for okay this is also to help you to expose uh, your your products uh, exposure okay so right now mm, take some time okay, while, while waiting I can uh, show you that okay for this keyword information all this is inclusive okay when there is to say when uh, the buyers search on all these it will also is still related to mortality okay they will still show your products <coughs> in the past display if they key in any words in the keyword information whereas for the related keyword group okay it's a it's a separate uh bidding okay you have to bid for uh that particular keywords itself I'm gonna do a refresh and type in again the maternity keyword to see whether has they updated my um, listing. So, <clears throat> yeah, again, I guess okay, I have to delete this. Do a search. Yep, okay, now, now you can. Okay, let me look at my listing, which is on the one that I have. Um, indicated okay okay right okay this is the one so i will look for the item code 6106 okay sorry okay. how i different recognize is through the item code specified on the left hand side okay so when i click on it I go down to the bidding price and I will base on today's winner and look at the next highest price so that I will I have to outbid them. So in order for me to outbid them, I have to definitely put a higher bid. Right, this is how, how bidding <coughs> uh, is been you know used for. <coughs> so instead of two hundred I will put 200 in okay. 
because I want to be at the list, the top 10 list. Mm, or rather, let me put $2.50 cents instead. And I'll put it for about 3 to 5 days. Yeah. And because uh, this week is our National Holiday, uh, National Day, so I guess that in doing the National Day Eve as well as on the day, there will be more uh, buyers, uh, you know, staying at home and looking at what to buy. Uh, so this is why I, I'm willing to spend more, uh, you know, to get, get to the keyword space. Okay. So <clears throat> after you have confirmed the bidding price, <coughs> go to place bid. And it shows that okay, yes, it has been successfully submitted. Okay, so how you uh, check whether it has already been uh, confirmed? Well, you can go to the bid history. Yeah, and you'll be able to um, see it there. Okay, all these are those existing keywords that have already done the bidding. Okay, when you click on the search on my bidings, you can see that. All these are the keywords which I have I've in you know placed a bit just now. So it shows different dates as well as you know yeah and the existing one I have. Okay. So this is all I have today. I hope you guys have enjoyed what I have I've shared with you all today and hopes that uh can help you to start and start to generate uh, better revenues and sales using this method you know, be sure that to market uh, your products daily because um, this, this is definitely uh, a thing that uh, we all need to have you know if you want to get uh, results in Q10 or in any um, platform Okay, so uh, please feel free to comment below you know, if you want to know anything else. You know, and subscribe, do subscribe to my channels. Uh, I'll be sharing with you more insights on how to better position yourself in all the various platforms such as uh, Q10, Lazada, Shopee, even Carousel, which I have it's seven o'clock. Okay, so thank you all and have a nice day. Bye.